Hi guys. All right. Uh, don't know what to say about Hurricane Michael, but something very weird is happening with the next round harp ring that comes and goes and it's gone again. It's gone again. There it is. It's there. Okay. Let's check it out. This thing, it, you can see all the microwaves on the periphery. Oh boy, man, I have never ever seen a Nexrad Harp Ring quite like it. It literally just takes away all of the precipitation in this one area. Bingo. Wow. All right, so all of the people living in that area they got to have a few minutes of no rain at all. Have you ever seen anything like it? I haven't. I haven't. So, what are meteorologists saying about this? Birds cleared the path of the precipitation. Migrating birds, I don't know, thousands, th millions, millions, millions of migrating birds migrating in a circle. Okay, I don't know what they're going to be saying, but the whole thing is filled with either uh, extremely low frequencies right here. And next red harp rings on the periphery, the west side. Oh, and we've got a nice one that just started here outside Nashville. Or coming out of Nashville. Yeah, because Nashville is the center of this, pretty much the center of this next red harp ring. Um, it's really in their concentric rings. Um, what are we living, man? What are we living? We are living something so unbelievably surreal. Next right, Harp Ring. Alabama. Microwaves on the east side and that next red harp ring wow that is just stunning it really is so we've got land canes now uh this thing is still kind of uh, doing its um cyclonic twirling which is interesting you know hurricanes when they hit the coast they weaken I want to hear from all of you guys in Georgia, on up into Tennessee, Kentucky. You guys experiencing any flash flooding, any massive rainstorms? Uh, Georgia, wow. See, this next right harp ring, well, they can always bring about massive destruction actually in the center area of them so the center is let's just um, they can bring about incredibly destructive uh, tornadoes so I hope nothing really happens to people in Marks Mill, Fitzpatrick, Ripley Jeffersonville, Marion. All right. Um, 
But you guys in Florida, I don't I don't know how many subscribers I have in the Panhandle. Um, but I sure would love to hear from you. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God, I have to tell you, and I'm going to tell it in another video. But something happened to me, boy. The uh, our sky here. Oh my God, this was today. Let's just say they brought in an awful lot of moisture to upstate South Carolina. And this is what nobody even sees or thinks is normal. Between the spraying, the geoengineering, and these mountain clouds all over, we did get an awful lot of rain today. This is what we drive around. I drive around here and I think to myself, holy Christ, it's like, where where are people? Where where are their brains? Where are, what are they thinking with their black clouds and their mountain clouds and everything? Uh, unbelievable. But today, and that wasn't just the only one. They were all over. But the microwaves, the microwaves were bad. And I was on the phone talking to a friend in Texas. And she was telling me that she was having a really hard time yesterday. She felt better today. But yesterday, I posted a video showing all of the electromagnetic frequencies uh, ripping through pretty much all of Texas. Well, these microwaves that you can see in the sky, um, this is the frequencies that are, that's not a great image of it, but the frequencies were literally um, creating like a grid pattern. And I feel better now, but I have to tell you, oof, it was, I don't know what, what happened to me. It was, I, I, I'm not going to say it was any different than any other day. I mean, this is what Anderson, South Carolina looks like, pretty much every day. But the humidity, the heat, the mountain clouds setting us up for a dump of water tomorrow. Probably probably manufactured artificial clouds all over the place. Alright. Um, so this uh, storm now, look at all of these frequencies. Now, virtually in every video on frequencies, the weather, I am showing you an awful lot of these extremely low frequencies being shot off intensely from uh, Spartanburg coming into Anderson and you get the frequencies in Tennessee that uh, shoot down in j just going across North Carolina and South Carolina. This these extremely low frequencies shooting up into Tennessee usually have very intense frequencies coming out of Durham, Raleigh, and Columbia, and oh, I can't remember what this radar station is. But what we're seeing is less intensity on the east side, but wow intensity on the west side. Check it out. Keeping Michael on course all of these electromagnetic frequencies. That's what they do. Steer it right along. We've got them going off.
Uh, pretty much the entire half of the country. Texas is still booming. Um, but all of these frequencies right down from um, Illinois, Illinois, Kentucky, I mean Ohio, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, shooting off pretty wildly, Mississippi. Tough Michael into Georgia. All right, so you guys in Tennessee and Kentucky and Georgia, how are you doing? Look at these. Uh, I've never seen what look like really intense frequencies, microwave frequencies, shooting out in an area that I just have never seen before. Let me slow it down. Slow, slow. Slower. Okay. Boom. Hit, hit, and it levels off. All right. Um, any of you in the panhandle? Please let me know. Please let us know. Georgia. Macon, um, Atlanta, how are you guys faring? If they swing this thing into South Carolina upstate, I'll be pissed. All right, so I want you to, if you've not checked out In Truth by Grace, boy, hats off. She measured all of the wind speeds and the only area that had hurricane winds, category one, not category three or four, category one wind speeds were in this red rectangle right here, 23 miles, that's it, Panama City. Outside, it was not hurricane winds, and I can't remember the numbers, I think 33, 45, uh, but right smack in here, I think it was 86 miles per hour wind. It's really um, targeted strike. So, got to hand it to you in truth by grace. I thought, and I saw this earlier today, and I thought it was interesting. So I'm coming home and I'm wanting to see, okay, what happened. Now, welcome to entertainment. This is a storm chaser. Welcome to entertainment, storm chaser. Wow. All right. He has his windshield wipers on. Uh, I have not muted the volume. So he has no volume. And there's no rain hitting his windshield. The winds are quite intense. He's in Panama City. Hmm. All of the videos. Panama City. All the videos are Panama City. And the destruction, while for those who have had to suffer the consequences of the destruction that you see, it's bad. But the hype that we heard from mainstream media, Category 4, our president saying, uh, well, uh, this is uh, the worst it's ever been, right? Uh, we've never had a storm uh, like this, right? That was his update with the FEMA director and um, Department of Homeland Security director. Well, I am not seeing the damage that we should be seeing, considering monstrous, the, these descriptive terms that they use, monstrous, get out now, 
You're not going to be helped if you don't get out. Um, storm like never before. This guy drives through Panama City. All of the videos. I have yet to find a video outside of Panama City. Isn't it interesting? In Truth by Grace, actually calculates that the only hurricane wind was within this 23 miles. Panama City, uh, Tyndale Air Force Base, but right outside, hurricane winds stopped. And I can't find any videos that are outside of Panama City. All mainstream media, they're all in Panama City. Reed Timmer! Hey, Reed! Yeah, go, go. You're standing outside with your microphone and you're recording the winds. Now, if any of you have taken film outside when it's even just there's a slight breeze. The microphone picks it up and it sounds like massive wind. So I guess he is reporting that this hurricane is so bad. Listen. Definitely sounds bad, but this is the category four hitting Panama City. Now, when the hurricane actually leaves, this guy did live reporting. Nine hours. He starts off in Panama City Beach and he ends up in Cottondale which is just north of Panama City Beach. Panama City, City Beach, he's in Cottondale. He drives up and after I mean, he's showing no, uh, live nine hours. It should have taken out Cottondale. Yeah, there were some roofs and trees down, but trees are not an indication anymore because of how weakened they have become, how sick they are from all of the geoengineering. But this is after the hurricane passes. No flooding, and, well, not the kind of damage that you would have expected to see. This is Miami Herald. They're showing what looks like the sky here in Anderson, South Carolina, an awful lot. Um, this is, I guess, the hurricane coming in. Well, haven't we all seen those skies? Um, the horizon to horizon whiteout. This is Panama City after the hurricane. Now, look, category four coming in. Worst, monstrous. Um, it really, it does not look like what I would have expected considering the reporting. The streets are dry. It's almost like they got no rain. This thing was all wind. Perhaps it was. And I, I had a subscriber send me this mag ugly truth and I was listening to it. I only got to, you know, maybe, I don't know, five minutes in. But I have to tell you, this guy is really, he's, he's right on.
100% satanic shit. Let's get into this one right here and break it down. Good evening from Panama City, Florida tonight, where they are preparing for a powerful and deadly hurricane already. Tonight has now been upgraded to a Category 3, winds at 1... Why always these guys know everything about the so-called hurricane, which is a so-called natural disaster. How the fuck they know everything about this so-called hurricane and giving you all number coded with your category three, 100% is satanic shit all the way in. 120 miles per hour. Tonight has now been upgraded to a category three, winds at 120 miles per hour. Okay, that alone tell you it's a hoax. It's a 33 right there in numerology. No doubt about it. It's Freemason shit all the way hoax. They hurricane, once it hits, will then... They go all the sheeps, yes, trying to get away from it. That's how they do it, people. They always put you in panic mode, always have a, some kind of chaos so the masses could disrupt, run all over the damn place like some damn chicken without a head. Bring destructive winds across several states. Florida, Alabama, and Georgia all have states of emergency tonight. This hurricane, as I mentioned, has... Exactly where it's going. They know the track that it's moving in. Of course, it's man set up all the way to set up to fuck up the masses, the masses cannot be comfortable. That's what they do. Already killed more than a dozen people on its way here. And tonight, Florida's governor is... One dozen number. Wait a second. It already killed a dozen people on its way here. Was that in Cuba? Uh, uh, where? where? I, I didn't hear that. But everybody's in Panama City. And you hear this. You know, it's going to be d disastrous for Georgia, Alabama, and Florida, the whole of the panhandle. Everybody's in Panama City, and you're not seeing the kind of damage that you would have expected, so I need to hear from you guys, please. Um, you guys, Georgia, Alabama, panhandle, or those of you in Florida who know people who live in the panhandle, Please contact them. Find out what happened here. What happened? You know, they evacuated, what, 120,000 people. And this could have been the only area that got hurricane winds. Category 1. All right, I'll link below to everything. Let's just see if our ring is still there. They took it off. Oh no, it's there. Okay. Stay safe, everybody.